Get your wallets out, boys and girls. I found a winner. It's a tough spot, Abby. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. I'm Abby. I'm really just taking a nap and Popeye's batting down the hatches. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Red Cat Racing Everest 10. This is an amazing crawler, 10th scale, four wheel drive. Now this is a bit more of a competitive style crawler. It is a little more scale than some of these competitive things that we've seen on the market, but this is actually one of our first more competitive style crawlers. Now you guys know us, we've really been enjoying the scale crawling scene, especially the Scout 2. We actually own two of them and we're really, really loving Red Cat Racing stuff right now. And there's a good reason for that. Now, seriously, set your wallet down to the side because by the end of this video, I guarantee you're gonna wanna pick one of these up too. This thing comes with some amazing features like true beadlock tires, which we don't have on very many of our vehicles at all, but it comes with it ready to run. Under the hood, you'll notice that it's 100% ready to run for about $150. Granted, it does come with a nickel metal hydride battery. This is a six cell 2000 milliamp nickel metal hydride, but it comes with the charger too. Paired with that is a 40 amp ESC, capable of running the nickel metal hydride that's in there, as well as a two or three cell LiPo, simply by moving this little jumper from the right pins to the left. We have a 540 size brush motor mounted on the bottom here. And now that we're looking at the bottom of the truck, I want you guys to look at all of these really sharp aluminum metal links. Every one of the links on here is metal. Amazing. Paired with the aluminum chassis, really it makes me wonder, how in the world can they get away with charging 150 bucks? Well, that's because, yeah, and even a good placement for our steering servo up here with metal links on the steering servo as well. That's such a great setup. Also, they're not cutting any corners with their transmitter. This is the transmitter you get with all the Red Cat Racing vehicles. Really just an amazing setup. So we're here at the hill today because we wanted to see, first of all, if this can make it up the hill. I'm sure it can, but let's see how fast it conquers it its drive style. Abby and I are extremely experienced at driving here, so we wanted to hit that with a good standard. And if it holds up well and performs well, then I think that maybe in a week or so, we'll take it to the new bashing stomping grounds. Although we've kind of written that off for bashers, it's still very much a great crawling area. So let's just power this on, put it to the test, and have some fun. Look at the range that we have here. I mean, this is insane. Look how much twist just on the rear end and then on the front we've got just as much too. Now you lose a little bit of your scale look with these competitive crawlers. Nate. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. What I forgot all of doing? our stickers. Let's get this out what? before. How do you forget <laughs> our stickers? Here, listen to it running too. I want you to hear. Our little family sticker would have looked so cute right there. It's going there. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the next video it'll be plastered with our stickers. Can you listen. We've never had a vehicle Sounds styled good. like this, so I'm pretty excited to get my hands on the transmitter. Well, I don't know I kinda, how you always clean these. Look at that! Look how these. just that I just powered through that grass. Now this is a rock crawler, so let's see how it does on this really loose dirt. The Everest 10 is just so impressive. Look at that! I'm in full throttle, I'm just crawling, I'm cruising. Some people don't like the more competitive look, like this one has that look, but I, you know, I like this one. Kind of do. Some of them are a little bit on the ugly side, but this looks good. The Everest 10 looks really good. So on this, it does have a full ESC brake on. You can see when I hit the brake, it pretty much locks it up. I'm just giving a little throttle and then letting off the juice. And so when you see it lock up, that, that's what I like in a crawler. So you're not giving it any brake, you're just no letting break. off the just, juice. Just letting off the throttle, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer a, a, just a little less brake and you can adjust that, but okay. Now there's a harder part of this hill. I want to see if it can handle that. And then Abby, how about you climb it up the main part of the hill? Okay. Now let me see, I think my dual rate could go up a little bit more. Now let me explain that guys. Dual Steering dual rate is basically steering sensitivity. So because this comes in at 150 bucks, which is an amazing price, I mean, just amazing. See how it says steering dual rate? If I want to make it more sensitive, I just turn that up. And now I should be able to turn quite a bit sharper than what I have been turning. Yep, and I, I can turn that up even more. So I think it came out of the box almost all the way down. Look at that go. 
All right, so let's walk right over to the harder part of the hill where it's really, really steep. I think this will do just fine. We've had some vehicles that haven't been able to go sideways like this, so yeah. I'm kind oh, yeah. of impressed. The way this is going sideways on the hill is crazy. Yeah, most of our vehicles, I think, would have rolled, rolled. by now. Mm -hmm. even, probably even the Scout too, honestly. I think so. So with that really low CG and all that weight at the bottom, that's what's helping keeping it on its all four wheels. Okay, here's the tough spot, right? Right above this root is where it gets really difficult. Now, I don't know if our tires are knobby enough to dig in. This is a crazy spot, you guys. There we go. Just had to get around that root, and it's really loose yeah. dirt here today. It's very dry. We haven't got rain in a while. Let's see if I can get just a little bit of momentum going and dig in. Yeah, steering those tires around a little bit. Oh, look how much dirt it's just rolling down the hill. Look at that. I am just moving so much topsoil. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now, I would climb up the hill and get a closer shot for you guys, but I cannot make it up to where that truck is. I would fall down the hill for sure. Oh, I don't know if we're going to make it past oh, this. Oh, I got to try. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we've made some progress. It gets steeper right there, though. Oh, come on, Everest 10. This is <laughs> nothing to grab onto. No, no, it's all slipping. It's all slipping. There's no rocks or anything. It's all just loose dirt. And that's almost straight up and down right yeah. there. It I probably am, does not look like give it. Give me like 30 more seconds and then I'll pass this controller off to you. But I just have a feeling I can find the right path and get up this hill. Yeah, there's a little more progress. That's actually full throttle, just so you know, like how this, how this is geared out. Full throttle on this thing isn't very fast. Like your scale crawlers, they can kind of cruise at maybe close to 10 miles an hour but this is a much slower vehicle even at full throttle okay i think that i'm gonna tap out i'm gonna bring this back down the hill my turn to the grass i'll start you at the grass okay Abby. see if i can put you to shame i don't know about that i've gotten better at crawling lately look how slow you're going see i know no it, this is a tough hill you guys a very it tough gets hill steeper than the big part of the hill yeah this will do the main part. Oh, wow, you actually rolled it. Oh, I think I win just based on that. <laughs> Can cut through that grass like nothing. Oh, now that Abbey is a, a very, very steep slot. I don't think we've taken anything up there, but you're cheating a little bit because you have some weeds <laughs> to help you dig in. It's still... It's not losing any ground when it digs in, that's it for is. sure. I thought that was going to be hard dirt. It just tore it apart. This is a very tough spot, you guys. Oh my gosh. Don't roll again. I don't know. Have we had anything conquer this? I need more like steering. Okay, now that I have steering. Opposite direction there. <laughs> more dual rate. That's full dual rate on the steering. This truck would look so good with a smoke rig on the back. Yeah, I'd lose a little clearance, but... This is like the cheapest 10th scale crawler we've ever come across, and it's built really well. Oh, I want it so bad to go. It's too loose. If we came back like right after it rained, it could do that. Oh yeah, no problem. This is really yeah. dry. Okay, let's hit the main part of the hill. I don't know if it's going to make it up that part. Now we did the easy part of the hill to the left there. Hey, that's where I was trying to climb earlier. It's tough. That is a tough... Look, I want people to see the vantage point of this. I'm going to try to climb up here. So just so you guys know, the slope is like crazy. And it's all just loose dirt. Let me see if I can get over here. This is... I'm in sandals. Here we go. It's just sliding. Look at that. a tough spot, Abby. Let's go to the main part of the hill. We'll come back to conquer you later, you stupid hill. <laughs> Look at this on the side of the hill, just cruising along. Do you like how it handles, like how it's built? I do, To yeah. run slow like this? Hey, I've too. always been kind of turned off by vehicles of this style, but uh, I kind of liking this. 
Maybe to look at, they're not quite as nice, but to drive, they're way better, aren't they? Yes. Okay, here, we're almost here. Well, this is kind of the main part. Okay, I am going to follow you up the hill. Look at this, they mowed for us. Yeah, the park guys are awesome. Okay. It's so dry here. Nice. You got it. You got it. You keep getting down in the rut. Okay. Use those weeds to help you, huh? Yeah. Okay. You made it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I got to give this a shot. I got to get a little confidence boost after not being able to climb that other part of the hill. You know what, before I take this all the way up the hill, I wanna show you guys what full throttle looks like on this. We always do that with our crawlers, but there, that is actually full throttle. I actually think the battery is starting to die. You think so? Yes. It could be. With that 2000 milliamp nothing metal hydride battery, it very well could, could be getting low. Cause we were doing like full throttle for five minutes trying to, <laughs> trying to get up the hill. I bet I can still like make it up If it is, you know what? The only reason I didn't put a lipo in here is because I don't have very many that have that banana plug connector. And if I had to give this just any negative feedback at all, anything, Oops. only one thing, it's that it comes with that banana plug connector. Now, some people like that, but it just so happens that all my batteries are Dean's ready. So I will probably just slap a converter on there for two or three bucks and that'll be that. Uh, and I can use all of my LiPo batteries. Th again, this will run two or three cell LiPo, so that's amazing. I'll bet the performance of this would go up significantly with a big 5,000 milliamp LiPo battery on there, especially three cell, because we'd have probably a little bit more speed and momentum to get up dry spots like this. There we go. All I had to do is find a little bit of something to grab on. Yep. Through. Right there I saw a stick, and I am up the hill. That's awesome. Uh, this, this is a very cool truck. You know, I, I've always been interested in the competitive style crawlers, but I've never pulled the trigger on one because I've just enjoyed the scale stuff a little bit more. But you guys have just, every time we do a crawler, it's always so highly requested to do. The Everest 10 is always at the top of your requested list. So we had to pick one up for 150 bucks. How could we not? I mean, we've seen some bad China stuff be like two and three times that price. Here we have an awesome, awesome brand and an amazing vehicle and a really awesome distributor too i hope that if you guys pick this up or are at least interested in it you check out the the people that we're talking about we'll have them linked in the description box below so man this is very cool i think on our next little run of this when we go to the new bashing stomping grounds i'll put a two or three cell lipo in there and see if i can notice a performance difference but isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I'm so glad we got this. All those metal links. Look, look, even our water pit it's is dry as a bone. <laughs> I should tell you guys, we need to get some rain here in Kentucky. Okay, we'll have all the good stuff linked in the description box below. This won't be the last time you see this on the channel. I love crawlers and I'm now super interested in a competitive crawling scene that's very cool. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.